before you can learn clinical skills, you need to metaphorically learn how to walk in virtual reality. By the end of this video, you'll know the basics so you can know how to get the most out of Med Valley for learning your clinical skills. Hi everyone, welcome to our second video in our series to get the most out of Med Valley. If you don't already have access to the application, head to this video. It's free. Check it out. Okay, this is the opening menu when you enter Med Valley. When you're interacting with the menu. You've got these lasers in your hands, and so you can turn those on using a or X to interact with the menu. Before you get trigger happy, I recommend trying the tutorial first. It's not that complicated, you just need someone to show you how to actually interact with a patient in virtual reality. If at any point you forget what I've said, don't worry, just select the teach mode for any case. And in that teach mode, it'll show you on this panel on the wall how to perform the interactions. You'll click on that, and it'll show you the region and the explanation for how to do that in virtual reality. I'll give you an example. Let's say I want to take this patient's pulse. I select here and it'll show me the location. Then I select here and it gives me an explanation for how to do that in virtual reality. In this case, it's the trigger button over that area. So back in our main menu, you can see this map here. Our cases are organized based on rooms with case groups based on the systems. So you can see there's a cardio system, rest, if you click on any one of these areas, you'll go directly to that spot and be outside the door so you can select the case. You can also see your level in Med Valley over here on this panel. This is a combination of your scope and skill in the VR area to give you an overall level of your competency in these areas. There's also settings where you can customize your skin tone and other things like that, including a controller where you can see how to perform these interactions. Once you're in the Vosky Hall, you can move in two ways teleportation, and then just regular old walking. If you're moving bigger distances, teleportation. You use the thumbstick there on the controller and it will teleport you to that spot. If you're needing to do some fine adjustments, like you're moving around a patient, you can just walk in the physical world and you'll move in the virtual world. Hey, quick shout out to our development team. They are working like mad to develop this game for you so you can learn clinical medicine. And right now it's completely free. So if you wanna support the development, support more features, more cases, head on over to our community membership to do so, and you'll get more control over what the future looks like. You also have your own tablet to help you navigate the game. If you press the Oculus menu buttons, the tablet will open up. Here you can see the controllers. Again, check your settings, invite friends to play with you. I'll go over more about multiplayer later on, but you can use this at any time throughout the game. In our next video, we're going to go over exactly why we have organized cases into what we call case groups and how that helped me when I was going through medical school.